1965, the United States Supreme Court handed down its decision in the landmark case Griswold v. Connecticut. The case involved a law of the state of Connecticut that made it a crime to use any drug, medicinal article, or instrument for the purposes of preventing contraception. The use of condoms, diaphragms, the pill, and other contraceptive devices were illegal under Connecticut law. The law also made it a crime to provide information, instruction, or advice to persons concerning the use of contraception. Estelle Griswold, who was executive director of the Planned Parenthood League of Connecticut, and Dr. C. Lee Buxton, who was a physician and professor at the Yale School of Medicine, were arrested and convicted under the latter provision of state law and each fined $100. Upon appeal, the Supreme Court reversed their conviction and struck down the Connecticut law as unconstitutional on the grounds that it violated a fundamental right to privacy under the Constitution. The decision whether to procreate or to not procreate is a private matter between a man and a woman, the court held, and the zone of privacy extends to the health care provider, in this case, Griswold and Buxton. We will have an opportunity to discuss the Griswold case in much greater detail when we get to our topic on the right to privacy. For now, suffice it to say that the significance of the Griswold decision is that it marked the first case in which the Supreme Court ruled that the Constitution protects an individual's right to privacy. This is significant because the Constitution contains no explicit mention of a general right to privacy, much less a specific right protecting a person's use of contraceptives.